Is there a more graphic representation of how far we've come than the evolution of dentistry? Thankfully, we've evolved. And the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry seems to have not just kept up, but helped lead the way. Dentistry has evolved over the last 50 years uh, tremendously. There were no dental schools at one time. There were people who originally was physicians and they will have some training and they will start doing some dental work as well. So as the education evolved, people started looking at how they can train better dentists. It will never be enough and we have to continue to do better than we did yesterday. Dentistry has come a long way and Schulich Dentistry even further. I know, I've seen it from infancy, how things have evolved, and I've been a very happy part of this uh, process because establishing a dental school at Western, we have achieved the success we would have never achieved if we were not part of this enterprise. But a great school of dentistry is only as good as its curriculum. Once a student is assigned a patient, that student will take the whole oral cavity, not just one procedure or here and there. To achieve that, we had to bring our students uh, on the clinic floor very early. And that meant a very, very heavy uh, load of teaching in first and second year. Schulich School of Dentistry has two graduate programs, graduate orthodontics as well as oral and maxillofacial surgery. The grad ortho program is a three-year program. They have three students per year for a total of nine graduate students. And at the end of that, they are certifiable as uh, orthodontists. The oral surgery program is a six-year program. It has a single student per year. It's a combined Masters of Science program, oral and maxillofacial surgery, and MD program. And again, at the completion of that, they have their MSc, their MD, and they're also eligible to write the examination for specialty practice in oral and maxillofacial surgery. Needless to say, there's a lot to take pride in at Schulich Dentistry. And one program that engenders the greatest pride is the Dental Outreach Community Service, or DOCS program. Our students, under the supervision of our full-time faculty and part-time faculty, go out to various community centers and provide free dental care to people who do not have insurance, who do not have any other means to get this care. Docs was the brainchild of Dr. Ken Wright and championed by Dr. Sandu. The program has helped bring affordable dental care to the faces of thousands, resulting in better oral health. After all, oral health is the gateway to better health in general. We firmly believe that at Schulk School of Medicine and Dentistry, it is not about just selecting students, training them to become the best physicians and dentists. But what we want to do is we want an overall development, their leadership skills, we want them to be lifelong learners, and most importantly, we want them to be caring individuals who their social responsibility is ingrained in their every fiber of their body. If we are not creating new science or new information or new knowledge, then we have absolutely no right to be at a scholarly institute. And now we are finding out through long-term epidemiological studies that gum disease is very much linked to diabetes, coronary heart disease, premature births, and many other medical conditions. It's easy to see the impact we have on people here. A simple smile being a clear indication that we're affecting patients' overall health and well-being through preventative and restorative dentistry, which makes all of us equally happy to be making a difference in people's lives.